All right, we're here to see the Detective Pikachu movie. We've been waiting for this thing for months. It better be fucking good, because otherwise I will be pissed off. Ticket time. Time to get our tickets. Uh. All right, Carl, I'm thinking this movie will be better than The Power of One, oh, or The Power of Us. Dude, that is such a low fucking benchmark. All right, it's going to be better than the Lucario movie, but mm. it's not going to be as good as Pokemon Heroes. I think it will be below the Lucario movie, actually. You think so? Yeah, above Entei. Yeah. What about above the first one? <coughs> mm. All right, how about I'll, make... leave, I'll leave that for the <laughs> shitty 3D yeah. remake. Okay, will it be better than Evolution? No. Yeah. That That's going to be like the top tier memes. Just, they should call it Pokemon Roosted, uh, Robot Chicken. Yeah, because that's exactly what it looks it's like. It's pretty much exactly what it is. It looks exactly the same. It's, it's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, and people are like, oh, you can compare it to that. It looks nothing like it. It looks exactly like it. Well, I wouldn't know. I don't go looking for shitty Pokemon opinions. <laughs> so this is the official Detective Pikachu review with Apocalypse Industries and my guest, Epicenter. Mm. Actually, you could probably also call this like the Opi Pros review. Is this an Opie Bros video or an Apocalypse Industries video? I definitely don't think this should be your official review, especially with your plans for Pokemon in general. Well, here's more of our thoughts after seeing the thing. Yeah, at least this is the informal version of what you would normally do. Yeah. So it wasn't what it wasn't as bad as The Power of Us, which is really not hard to do. It still wasn't that great. It wasn't that great, honestly. Justice isn't the best Justice actor. Justice Smith, yeah. Yeah, he's not the best actor. Mm. In fact, a lot of the people in the movie were not that great actors, except Ryan Reynolds, I guess. And he only showed up, like, right at the end of the movie. We're spoiling everything, by the way. Yeah, the, the full-face spoilers. If you guys still want to see the movie, you can go ahead. Uh, so we'll just preface this with, yes, you can watch it. Beware of cringe. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. You can actually watch this movie. Yep. It's not heavy on the politics, so I'll give Hollywood that much, sort of. Yeah, could have been a lot worse in that regard. Yeah, it honestly could have been way worse. Um, Still cringy. Yeah, very cringy. Hmm. How should we start? How should we start with our thoughts? Um, I guess we'll try to find what we liked about the film first. All right. Um, Pikachu's design is top notch. Yep. In fact, a lot of the Pokemon I actually got used to. But, yeah, a lot of them look pretty good. Yeah. I I liked Mewtwo's design more over time. I didn't I wasn't so hot on it when it was initially revealed. Yeah. It just looked a bit odd. Hmm. It's funny, in EB Games I actually sell the Detective Pikachu Mewtwo toy and I'm like, oh look an excuse to make a really shitty looking toy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ugh. No thank you on that one. I was disappointed as to the lack of Pokemon battles in this movie. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they did that because they, cause they didn't know how to choreograph Pokemon fights. Yeah. But the end, the ending of the movie had a pretty okay looking fight, I guess. Mm. If that went full on fight mode, I would have been like, hell yeah, man. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what other possible? I didn't like? mind the soundtrack that much, actually. Yeah, it fit the scene. I, I can't for the life of me remember any of the songs. I... What I appreciated is they went for... <clears throat> it wasn't so much techno as... Well, except for one scene. But... Uh, uh, <coughs> we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, I like that the soundtrack at least tried to go for a somewhat retro 8-bit feel for yeah. it. Yeah. It was um, really weird how they were just trying to reference the old game so often. Mm. And the first movie. They can't fucking let that go, can they? My god, were they heavy on the um the first movie fucking referencing. Literally, the beginning of the movie is the beginning <coughs> of the first they're movie. they're outside. Explosion. <coughs> it's literally the same thing. Like, almost beat for beat. Except you don't have that cool voice actor for me too. Mm. How could they not get that guy? This is I Hollywood that... with their billions of dollars. Because they just... Broadway is my life. I didn't think I'd play Mewtwo in this fucking cartoon. Yeah. I love Broadway. Um, 
What else did we like about the movie? I guess, in yeah, in general, the Pokemon designs were good. Ryan Reynolds was okay as Pikachu. For the most part. For the most part. Except for some cringe fucking comment. Oh, my God. Some of those jokes. Oh, my God. The way he interjects fucking jokes into just conversation was really annoying. That's a, yeah, it's a very Ryan Reynolds thing to do. Yeah. I feel like he became Deadpool a bit too much. Yeah. Like... Did you only know women through the birth canal? And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> only we get that. <laughs> Kids yeah, like, I'm right a bit alone at night. Like, like that. Like, that is that is a joke for us. Yeah, that's that's our... not for the kids. That's for us. Like the kids would be like, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I'm like, you're not going to. I won't tell you that shit. <laughs> I won't get arrested. It is. That was pretty funny though. Um, I guess that scene was like. The Earth moving and stuff was kind of impressive a little bit, but at the same time also very choppy. Mm. Like, it, everything didn't seem to make sense while everything was moving. I didn't mind as much, except for when it was revealed that it's just a bunch of giant Torteros, which I get the feeling that was referencing the giant Pokemon Island episode, but yeah. I'm not a big fan of them, how they executed it. I don't know why they just suddenly stood up to create a fucking earthquake scene mm. and then just sit back down. Literally, all they did was stand up and sit down without any rhyme or reason. Like, I thought... Here's what I was thinking. Jeez. I thought it was going to be like a, like an army of Steelixes in the ground. Yeah. And that's what's causing the like this giant eruption. I thought it was just going to be giant <laughs> Steelixes, Onyx, whatever. I, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting Torteros, and you know what? I'm not too hot on that. You know what I was actually thinking? I thought they would be referencing that Greninja can use Earthquake, and so they'll all just do, like, ninjutsu shit to create a oh, massive that'd be Earthquake. Bullshit. Yeah, well, it would reference fucking Gen 6 bullshit Greninja, mm. like, moves. Mm. Well, you say that, but they don't move like Greninjas. No, nope. they run like people, apparently. People yeah. in suits. Yeah, it was... That was so fucking weird. It was really weird. Like, I expected a frog ninja to move like a frog and a ninja at the same time. I didn't get a lot of that. No, <coughs> but no oh, one's man. played Smash before in Hollywood, so mm. they don't know how Greninja moves. Yeah, it, it, it didn't look right. With the scene where... Yeah, walking too upright. Yeah, like, I, I thought with the scene where you see its foot, like, in like its foot with water puddles, yeah, yeah. I thought it was using Shadow Snake. <laughs> I thought it was going to go fuck him up with Shadow Sneak. Mm. I thought it was invisible. I didn't think it was using its tongue to hold on to girl one. Because she's like, the only, she's like I don't remember her fucking name. Lucy Stevens. Lucy Stevens. I thought it would actually be Misty. Which I, think I was that, thinking that as well going in, of, but I guess we were wrong. And I think actually, they wanted I'm, to because with the Psyduck. Honestly, I'm glad I was wrong about that because... That is not Misty. Yep. If, if if that if they said that was Misty, Justice is Ash. I would, have, yeah, I would not have fucking believed them at all. Or they would have made him Brock, which would have been they would have played the race card most likely. Which is funny because um, nobody thought Brock was black. Actually, people. Sorry, I'll 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 rephrase that. People thought Brock was black, but he's not black. No, he's just tanned. Like. All, all the dumb kids thought, oh yeah, the closest approximation to Brock's skin colour is black because I don't know what a tan looks like. Because I am a child. Yeah. I am five years old. But anyway, um... Uh, anything else that did you like I didn't, about I didn't the movie? particularly like Lucy's character all that much. I didn't like her either. To be completely honest. I am a journalist for CNN. Oh, so original. Yeah. I totally get that. Ha uh-huh. I, li- I write listicles. I hate my job because... Ha uh-huh. ha. I work for BuzzFeed, apparently. Well, it, it's might, it might as well be BuzzFeed with the whole... Oh, yeah, top 10 cute Pokemon and all, and all that bullshit. Yep. It's fucking dumb. Like, it's like they tried too hard to establish that she's like this spunky... Spunky girl with a can-do attitude who... Um, takes a hard bullshit from no one and can just... Go- she's so good at reporting, guys! She's a... She's a go-getter, and I'm and I'm like, yeah. how many female characters I've seen act like that now? Like maybe a, 
half a dozen. Oh, pardon, maybe a bit too many now. Yep, it's become, becoming kind of annoying. It's a bit of a cliche, I think. I like how at the end of the film, she got like, okay, you're going to have a big story, prime time. You're going to have everything. You're going to be amazing. It's, you're going to be the best thing ever since uh, sliced bread. That's just a typical Hollywood character. It was so annoying. Just so like last minute. It was fucking dumb. Again, it's very Hollywood to do that. Yeah. It, it didn't surprise me. I honestly was half expecting a kiss scene because that would be a very Hollywood thing to do, would be a kiss scene. Actually, the new thing is to not have the male and female get together as a couple because, my God, it's so how, sexist. Could, you, how could you perpetuate heteronormativity like that, you, you sexist men? How dare you? Fuck, there's one more I mean, the, I mean the, kiss, the kiss scene would have promoted interracial relationships, but I guess... But it, whatever. Can't get past the male part. I honestly thought yeah. they were going to do that because it was like, what's with fucking white women and black men f fucking this bullshit going on lately? I don't know. It's I, really annoying. I think it feeds into the cuck fetish yeah. that a lot of hipsters have. But Shown in it's, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> but otherwise, um, like the cuck shit didn't really stand out to me in yeah. Detective Pikachu, so... Man, Justice had, like, no character in this movie, almost. Yeah, you know, like, I'm just a casual, regular old guy. Like, I, I, uh... And uh, I have I, daddy I, issues. I, I, pause, I pause a lot. Uh, I talk I really casually. Like, I'm not actually acting. Uh, uh, I can't talk to yeah. women. Uh, yeah, that 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 got on my nerves. Uh, drops file as the girl's trying to hand it to him. And I'm yeah. like, you're not being watched by anyone who's yeah. to watch you. Apparently you're so dumb when you infiltrate a, a secret lab. You, you're like, oh yeah, the cameras won't notice me. In fact, the cameras barely even did anything. Yeah. Like, they knew where he wa they were, but all they did was unleash the Pokemon. No, not even that. They waited for them to get into the secret lab while filming. And then they decided to go in. <laughs> yeah. Instead of having guards out the front of the... Out front of the gate. But like, it's what? an abandoned laboratory. Like, whatever. Mm. You need to move the movie along, but... Uh, I have to mention yeah. this because I don't know some movie goers might not notice this the scene where she's taking photos inside the laboratory oh, yeah, this bit. Uh, she's actually recording video yeah she's not in taking photos in instead of taking photos you can see when it shows her camera screen that it's on her iPhone like and the record button's pushed yep why is it making shuddering noises and also, why isn't your phone on silent mode? What if someone heard you? Mm. Wow, such journalism. Yeah, fuck it, I guess. People need to know she's using a camera. Cam using an iPhone camera. Yeah. Buy Apple iPhone. <laughs> After movie. Our Greninjas have power enhancement. I hope this plays into the movie in some p for some reason. Oh, it doesn't. They're just normal they Greninja. Did... They were basically normal Greninja. Like, because they didn't actually fight... Well, except for, like, Psyduck doing the big, like, power bomb bullshit. I thought it would be more destructive than that, not just a shockwave that doesn't harm anybody. Yeah. Because otherwise, the Greninja did not seem powerful at all. They no. just seemed like Greninja. There were just a lot of them. Yeah. Honestly, it would have been cool if they actually caused that earthquake. That would have actually been cool. And that would have made sense because of power enhancement. But no, Torterra growth enhancements, yep. they're just fucking big. And I'm like... How big is this laboratory to have Torterra's in your backyard? No, we Jurassic Park now. Yeah, we actually Jurassic Park. I, I seriously did not like the giant Torterra thing. I really, yeah, really, it, really didn't like it. I don't like how the Pokemon don't say their names a lot of the time. Yeah. They like got, Bulbasaur. They got uh, random animal noises for like almost all of them, actually. Yeah. The only one who... Says their name is Jigglypuff, I think, and it's for a quick and Ludi uh -huh, Jigglypuff does scene and makes you go to sleep thing. They, Did, they she like the cut, they cut the scene where Jigglypuff puffed her cheeks up. Yeah, I actually noticed angry. that. I was like, "What the hell?" I assume they did that because they it was for his trailer. Well, that and also I think there was no way to actually work it into the film. Like whatever joke they had to make Jigglypuff do that didn't work. D yep. That's what I think. Here's another injustice from the trailer. Where the fuck was I Need a Hero? Oh, uh, yeah. The That's in their yeah, soundtrack. The the yeah, that, it's just weird. Like, you didn't even play it for the credits. What the hell? You played some trash pop. Yep. And some gay dance music. Because, of course, you do. Oh, and the dubstep with the loud Ugh. 
That was awful. Carl literally looked at me like, oh, as soon as the fucking bass dropped. They would literally, they timed it. They did, oh. Like, they painted they did, it down and it was like, boom. They did in those, like, when you listen to a dubstep song and, like, does this wind up, like, and then, then higher and higher, higher, and then, drop bass, boom, 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 boom. You, that bullshit. They did that with Loud Dude, and I'm like, that's the cringiest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. It was just what so the fuck fucking are you shit. doing. I noticed the characters were way too eccentric and clearly for fucking babies. Yeah, like like um, t- Tim, the t- the main character is Tim, like his yeah. best friend. Yeah, like From he's Tim. such a clear fucking dork and a loser. He's such a cringe. Lo- he's he's just. He only shows up for the beginning of the film. He's just a a, a mass of cringe, all all in one yeah. all in one in like five minutes, and I'm like, and why? Exists- I like this. And only exists to question justice and make justice act like justice. Well, his friend is there to establish Justice's character as I am a Cubone, ha ha ha. I'm basically May from Pokemon Advanced. Yeah. Where I don't like Pokemon. Yeah, it's just uh Here's a thought, why why didn't he like Pokemon anymore? Because his dad of <gasps> oh, right. his and dad he... left him for Pokemon. Yeah, he's like, My dad Oh my dad the whole yeah. movie. Uh he has no like, like oh, character. Oh, he has no character outside of his father. Yeah, may as well have just stuck with just Pikachu, but then you won't have the whole dynamic with, with like old cop, like old detective stories. Which let's 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 be clear here. This is barely a detective story at all. Yep, all the clues it, just sort of fall in their it, lap. It's li- the story for a detective story. It's extremely linear. It's we go from the. We go from hometown to the city, go to the office, go to the pol- go to the police station, then go go to the underground thing, then go to the plant, then go back to the city, and 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 the, and the pieces it. just fall together as they keep moving along in the plot. There was barely, uh, yeah, it's like it, there was no like big I figured it out moment. Yeah, it just did. It just didn't feel like a detective story at all. It just felt like an adventure. The only detective part was... Genre. All right, I'm going to interview that girl that was trying to interview me. Yeah. And then it's all like, okay, go here. And then he asks some questions. Yeah. And the Mr. Mime. That was the most detective work they did, was the Mr. Mime scene. I actually quite like the Mr. Mime scene. Best scene in the whole movie was that Mr. Mime scene. Yeah. I have to admit, communicating through miming, I was like, that's actually kind of good. Yeah. That wasn't bad. It was funny. It's kind of funny how he drops the match. To do yeah, 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 yeah. Out yeah, of context, yeah. alright, you guys go watch the movie just for that one scene, and then leave, or because least, it's not great. Or at least watch a snippet of that scene. Yeah. Because that was actually funny. I have to admit, that was actually, like, great. Yeah. I liked that. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, there's plenty. Oh, uh, the female scientist was... Yeah, fem- back to the fucking garbage. bad actors. I am draining. I is am the lead scientist, Dr. Dr. Morant. This is my, my journal genius. entry. We're going to, to talk, experiment in YouTube. We're going to give you exposition like you're a fucking child because kids need to watch this as well. And we're going to talk about Mewtwo. <laughs> Here's a real question <laughs> for everyone at home. This movie... Okay... It's a kid's movie, right? It's very uh-huh. clearly targeted for kids. Okay. What kid knows about Pokemon Red these days? Almost Unless they don't look it up. Almost none of them. Yeah. That's our generation stuff. So, okay, so this movie's for us, right? Why the kids shit? Because kids need to watch it. Exactly. So who is this movie for? Is it everyone. For... It's an everyone movie. You can't do that. Yeah, I hate that shit. You can't do that because then you have a fucking amalgamated mess of a film. In fact, I feel like that's that actually is the the main problem with Pokemon as a whole, not just not just Detective Pikachu. Yeah, who's it tries it for? to it tries to make everyone happy. Yeah, and and, it, and therefore I no guess, one is. I happy. guess financi- I guess financially, everyone is happy, but. But I don't know. As, maybe we're just Pokemon, cynical. Well, as as we get older, we expect more from the things we like. We have a more we critical have standards. Eye. Yeah, kids do not. Because it's like the majority of kids do not have that capacity. Oh, spoiler alert! This is a canonical twenty year later sequel yeah, I, to I wanted, the fucking yeah, first yeah, film. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
they they actually the Mewtwo you see in this film is the exact same Mewtwo that was from the first Pokemon movie. That which, is not a joke. Which also doesn't make sense because fucking he's like, oh, humanity is evil. Even though he resolved that in the movies he was in. Mm-hmm. So that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that... I don't get that. Because that also means that the fucking black and white Mewtwo is canon too. Because Ash is like, oh yeah, I met Mewtwo. And then no, it's a different Mewtwo. It's Team Plasma's Mewtwo. Yeah, that yeah, it is a different Mewtwo, and and that makes less sense. That means Ash is real. It, it means Ash is in what? Li- there's a live action version of Ash just somewhere. waiting to be revealed somewhere. Oh, he was red. He yeah, no. he was that yeah, he's that guy. Ugh. I will give them credit. At least I didn't mispronounce any names. No, nah, Justice said Pokemon at one point. No way, I didn't even think. I must have he been brained. Po- he said Pokemon once. I don't think he meant to, but it slipped out as Pokemon, like Pocket Monster. Oh, I also did know it's like a fucked edit when he meets Ken Watanabe. He confirmed Ken Watanabe is in this movie. Yes. Uh, there you go, Japan. He you said thank you. He said thank you twice. He was like, thank you. And then they cut it next, and then he continued saying thank you again. So I like did. it was like a oh, fucked yeah. take. Wow. Oops. Yeah, it was like, thank you. Thank you for the... And I'm like, what the fuck was that? I don't know, Justice didn't really seem to have much presence in this movie. No, he didn't. He really didn't. It, like, the the only scene... Um, that worked I, was... I guess that got to me um, on an emotional level was <clears throat> the whole thing, like, when they thought, he, oh yeah, my dad's dead for real because I saw the car crash. Yeah, I guess. Thing. It would have been but, nice if he had more than one facial expression. and what, And more than one way of acting... Yeah, I other than just, oh, bored face. But it's crying. It looked like a CG tear went down his face, actually. Sort of. Because but... I noticed it was, like, oh. really, like, like obvious. And I was like, that was that CG? I think that's the makeup and the lighting. It looked so fucking and probably weird. Editing. But, um... <clears throat> oh, the trailer with pikachu being constipated quote-unquote it was him trying to do thunderbolt yeah so yeah you guys were clickbaited for a poop joke into an oh it you could take that in context but no he was just trying to use thunderbolt but speaking of poop poo and shit diarrhea jokes um yeah re- you remember the scene where they were talking about like oh yeah this is the secret lab that clifford owns or whatever and then, oh yeah and then it's like oh yeah uh, my partner and Pikachu's like, oh yeah, my partner's really excited. I think he peed a little. A little. Oh, oh wait, yeah. that was me. Ha ha. So that, funny. Ha ha, that was so funny. Guys, you kids love it. The guy next to me laughed. And I was like, you got you fucking absolute uh, spurred. God, there was, there was some fucking idiots in the, in the audience in the tonight. Audience. Like, and this, we had to sit right next to them. <laughs> yeah, I had to sit right next to him. And he was like, oh my god, Pikachu's falling to his death. Oh no. And he was doing like one of these. Like the yeah, when they started fighting, oh, he was like, ah, yeah. oh, so cool, and I'm like, oh, he, oh my god. Like I, I said t- on the car ride home, I said that guy is either drunk, drugged, or he's autistic, or all three, dude. Because that's just, are you being so cringy? Are you making fun of autistic people by saying that they might be autistic? Well, if they learn to control their external outward behaviors, then I, I guess I wouldn't point <laughs> out that they're acting dumb. No. <laughs> No, but they are trying to act normal. No, they're not. That's not normal. <laughs> Sorry. Sozlol. But how do you define normal? normal. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Uh, oh, how about... Let's talk about the fucking... Pretty much the only forced po- political thing is... Pikachu saying... Oh, yeah, Dame. Talking, uh, more like how... Um, Justice went Tim, on a tangent. Tim would, Tim would be like... First of all... We're winning. Girls don't... <laughs> G- d- girls are not to be called dames. Second of all, they appreciate people who make wise, rational decisions. decisions. And then he proceeds to be a complete spurg and is like, "Hey, hey, wait, wait, where's she going?" And then she's like being competent. Yeah. While at the same time being incompetent because she's clearly not thinking. I'm so sick of Hollywood films that make the girls do all the smart things because the guys are just bubbling idiots like 99 percent of the time. Yep. And I'm at so the same time, she that. wasn't even doing smart things because she was just brain dead like. Snapping like a fence with a camera clearly on her, right yeah. in front of her. She didn't give a shit. She's she was just like, Duh! I won't go to jail for this. I won't get caught. Yeah. For trespassing. That's just weird. That part. Um. 
What, what's that going? Uh, Sorry. Just, oh yeah, and the whole and when the Torteras were shifting around, and for some reason, Pikachu's just like, "How could you look at this and not believe in climate, climate change?" change. And, I'm and I'm like, like "What the fuck? That, this got to do with that?" Climate literally change? makes no sense, Pikachu. Can you can you not can you not shove down my throat the fact that you think climate change is real? Because guess what? I also think it's real, but I also don't give a fuck. If you it's don't like, think it is, it's like, what's the ground shifting got to do with climate change? It, it, it like meant, this drastically. It was so out it of left field. Felt thrown in there. Thrown in there as like some sort of fucking ha ha joke. Here's here's a little thing for you. I big... otherwise like Ryan as Pikachu. Yeah. A little thing well, for you mostly. kids at home. Dame is a detective term. Yeah, it's a term, term used in detective movies. Yeah. So, it's not like so. Don't chastise a fucking little Pokemon. Being all like, oh, he's sexist. Yeah, oh my god, sexism. How dare you, Pikachu? You how hate, could you do this to how us? How could Pikachu hate women like this? Oh. Uh, man, we have a lot more bad things to say about this movie than we thought. Yep, I guess we do. It'll, I get the feeling, the more I think about it, Detective Pikachu is going to be like The Force Awakens for me. Yeah. Where well, I'm, except not as egregiously awful. Oh yeah, that that movie was way worse. Bad, right? Did you find it? I don't I don't know if you found it odd, but in his fucking little baby room, the picture of Reshiram and Zekrom wasn't like their live action version. It was their normal anime version from the games. And I was like, yeah, they wait have, a minute. They have a lot of two D um, artistic um, renditions in the film of the Pokemon, and it's a bit weird. Yeah, because it's like, but that's not what they look like in, in your actual like, universe. Like for example. They had like Gengar art and a blimp, and, and it the, looked like real Gengar. And the and the real Gengar, or I say quote unquote yeah. real Gengar, is fucking horrifying. Looks awful. He has giant fucking like, ner- up. he has nerd teeth. That's what he has. Yeah, it was re- it was really off putting looking at Gengar. You could barely even get like a really good look at him because he won't stop fucking moving. Yeah, it's almost like they didn't want to show you how shitty he looked. He 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 looked like one of the worst. Yeah, he, he, I thought. I think he probably was the worst. Yeah, Torterra looked like Torterra. Yeah. Oh, what really bugs me is the wrong Pokemon sizes. Why is Snubble just nearly the size of a fucking normal human being? Snubble is not that tall. Why is Snorlax so small? And why is Charizard so big? Yeah. Well, Charizard is like what, five, five foot, foot seven. seven, and yet he's like a fucking seven foot giant. Charizard is smaller than I am. Which is fucking hilarious. But no, fucking Snorlax and Charizard are the same size now, for some reason. In fact, Snorlax is smaller than a Marchamp. It's as big as... As, as small as a Marchamp, yeah. Alright, now I have to put this theory to rest. Ditto is not the cause for the whole, like, missing murder thing. Ditto had nothing to do with it. Ditto was just I, a minion. I didn't even know that was a theory people had. The, the theory was... Is that on the Detective Pikachu Pokemon cards... No one uh, knows who Dunn did it, yep. but the only one you don't see in the trailer is Ditto. Oh, uh, okay. And Ditto is on one of the cards, so Ditto is obviously a villain. Right. Because he's... The villain cards have this black star on them, yep. so each card that has a black star is a villain, and Ditto is one of them. Okay. That was the theory going around with one of Max's friend, Max's friend Rob. He uh, made yeah, a video yeah. about okay. it. Uh, in reality, Ditto um, is a shapeshifter instead of... A, transforms into a copycat in front of you yeah yeah that would piss me off so fucking much i was like wait a minute ditto doesn't shapeshift he copies yeah exactly like, well, was it really that hard to get a stunt double for justice so, so you could have a fucking ditto, ditto tim off. versus tim fight you know what i find really annoying that wasn't hard you know how ditto they show you like how he has dots for eyes uh-huh. That only applies to one ditto, one ditto. from the anime yeah. where he had that problem. That doesn't apply to all ditto. It only applied to that ditto because he's a shit ditto. Which means he became a villain. He became a fucking villain. He, got he lived rid- for like t- fucking 27 years after after that episode. After his circus girl died. And became a baddie. And, and I'm like, like, that's retarded. That's just dumb. It was so fucking annoying. I was... It actually looked really gross looking at Ditto's eyes on a normal human. Yeah, that was the point. It looked scarier than the It movie. Yeah. Like, yeah. Team, <laughs> is that their brand? Team Rocket, maybe? Yeah. I was like... That would have been worse if they did that. That was sucked. I don't know. I think generic old guy being the villain with no real goal in mind other than I am a paraplegic no, his, is kind of shit. His goal was 
to evolve humanity by making them Pokemon because Pokemon are the next stage in evolution for humanity. It was kind of funny hearing Mewtwo have a British accent. I didn't like it that much. No, it wasn't particularly I great. know why they did it. It's because... He morphed it, with it's Mewtwo. That, it's that guy's voice, but it... Uh. There's something about his acting that just really fucking sucked. Yeah. Like, he did... I don't know, like he's he, just... He tried too hard to be dramatic, but not cool. Yeah. I wanted him to sound cool. He he, he doesn't he have a cool do guy voice. No, he doesn't. He, he has an old guy voice. He has sniveling old guy voice. Yeah, and an old man in a wheelchair. I'm like, good for you. Now you're a Mewtwo. Yep. Also, it's really dumb how easily it was to resolve his fucking problem. Just remove the headgear. Yeah, that, that's it. And I'm like, how, how does that work? <laughs> like, he wasn't even trying to stop... Tim. Justice. He just stood there like, no, yeah. and let it happen. That was really gay. <laughs> like me too, me too, quote unquote. Me too. Didn't try to stop the uh, the main character from taking that thing off his head, and that yeah. just he was too busy yelling at Pikachu for being Pikachu. Yeah, it's like fuck You're you, a... Pikachu. You can't beat me too. Fuck you, Pikachu. You're weak. I am me too. I am strong and cool, and you suck. I have mixed opinions and thoughts, as you can clearly tell. I get the feeling I'm going to like the movie less and less the more I think about it and yeah. sleep on it. And then we think, is it worse than Giratina? No. Yeah, no, Nothing is worse not. than Giratina. <laughs> but Japan loved Giratina for Japan, some Japan, fucking reason. Japan could go fuck itself. <laughs> for for their, actual their once opinion, in its life. It could fuck their itself. opinions on Pokemon films are fucking shit and they know it. Because they're like, oh, but Zero! And oh it my was... god, Zero was so cool. And guys. he has the Shinkiro as a mech and it was so cool. Oh man, remember that scene where there was a fucking shitty CGI Giratina being electrocuted and the electricity <laughs> is red? And, and it, it looked, it looked like, fucking like fucking shit. shit. <laughs> that was so cool, you guys. Don't you love how That's he why has... I love Code Geass and Zero and the fact that the main ca- he was so was smart. Zero and so smart. Man, that's so good. He was like, his, his robot girlfriend was like, Giratina's over there and he's like, I already know that. I already that. know that because I'm three <laughs> steps ahead of the plot. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I, I am actually zero. I am confirmed zero. Real zero. I am really cool, you guys. Also, I love Shaman. Dude, and fucking Shaman is so cute and adorable and totally don't want to rip its fucking head off. Yeah. Don't you love three minutes of flying in the sky fun time with anyway, Shaman? Let, anyway, let's not... I can't let's help not it. spoil your... <laughs> fucking epic your, review of Giratina. Your, your great review of Pokemon Giratina and the Sky Warrior. And Pokemon, the power of us. Alright, fuck it. Alright. What... I remember you said in the video, I can't remember. What did you think this movie was, would be better than... Entei, it's going right? to be worse than Lucario, but better than Entei, and I was... It's not better than Entei. I was right about the Lucario, but for Entei... Uh, I'd rather watch Lucario, I'd honestly. I'd rather than... watch Entei than Detective Pikachu again. Yes. I don't oh, and, think and, one last, and one last thing before we wrap up. Uh, Ryan Reynolds singing the Pokemon theme song... Was, was the cringiest shit. Extremely cringy, and I don't want to ever see it again. And it only makes sense to Westerners, because that's not the Japanese thing. Yeah, the Japanese people never got that song, so... Unless they sung their own theme song for their They didn't. Dog. The song we have is a completely different song from no, their I'm talking, first opening. I'm talking about what Pikachu sings in this movie. Will they oh, change yeah. it for the Japanese? They'll have to change it to something else, because... How the hell are Japanese people going to... They didn't grow up with that song. Yeah, they're not going to be like, what is that song? I don't know that song. It's on. Claire. And I'm like... Oh, and hit just a last bit of trivia. Pikachu fucking saying, Oh, Mewtwo's the strongest Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Fuck off. There, there, were, there, were, there were... Clear one, movie one references. There are way too many lines. Like, too many for me, anyway. They're probably, in reality, there are like three. Yeah. Or four. There are too many... Line from the first movie for me. Yeah, I didn't it like, like that. It just felt like a big reference movie. It's like, haha, nostalgia. You remember that line from the fucking movies? Wouldn't yeah. you rather be watching that movie? Okay. This movie was. Um... All right, final verdict. What would you rate this movie? After immediately after the movie, I said five out of ten. I'm probably gonna knock it down to four out of ten. I'm gonna. I'm inclined to agree. I'm thinking a four. Yeah. Four point five at the max. Just because uh, it made me laugh a little bit. 
It actually did get some chuckles out of me. Yeah, I laughed a few times as well, but honestly, it, I'm not going to remember this film very fondly. I just think this movie had way too many references to the first season and the first movie. Jewel Puff sings. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yep. It was even holding the same texter. Yep. Mewtwo saying, they're outside. In the That's the first line in the fucking movie. It's literally the first line in the movie. Was, they're outside. And, oh my god, if he, if Mewtwo's uh, creation of Mew's, from Mew's DNA, they were looking at the most powerful Pokemon mm. in the world. In the world. And, and I'm like, like, oh, where have I heard that line before? Oh, oh, oh and on. also, Arceus is canon. Yeah. So fuck off. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, that I'll pretty much it. Done. I want, I want to go to bed. <laughs> that ends the Detective Pikachu movie. See it if you really want, but I don't really recommend it, honestly. Yeah, not even a little. Like I recommended it at the beginning of the review, and now I'm just like, nah. Nah. Yeah. You See, can... the, you you're already speaking my language, Shane. This is the this is the problem I described. This is true love we're making. <laughs> <laughs> I am miserable, Shane. <laughs> We're both miserable. <laughs> right now, I'm not miserable.